Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Titans Returns Autobot Wheelie. Let's take a look at it. This is actually a Legends class figure. So it's slightly smaller or bigger than Legion but less than a Deluxe and you can see it. There it is. Legends class Autobot Wheelie. There's Wheelie. Now I know he was a giant turd back in G1 but this isn't G1 thank goodness. And here's the back of the box, and I like, I just love these vibrant orange colors, I, I really do. 13 steps, and this is what I'm thinking, it should have been a deluxe class figure, because the transformation, while not difficult, is kind of weird. And I just want to point this out, because he has a serial number, and that matches this number right here. I don't know if it's a lot number or whatnot, but whatever. I'll show you here in a minute. As you can see, he is G.I. Joe sized. Uh, Legends class smaller than a deluxe class and I don't know like I keep saying he should be Deluxe class. I know I know his character lends to be a legend class figure, but Just my opinion and he can hold the five millimeter port gun. I have Blur's gun right here, but he can't bend the elbow because of that uh, Well, I'm just gonna take it out for just a second as you can see, his eyes got a good, his face is good. I like the, the facial mold. This is not too bad. The head is on a swivel, like the translucent cockpit, windshield, whatever you want to call it. And uh, ball jointed shoulder, ball jointed elbow, no wrists, uh, swivel, but there's a swivel at the hip, which good makes it for some good articulation. Ball jointed hip joint, ball jointed knee. There's a lot of ball joints that I mentioned, and nothing else. No heel spur, no ankles pivot, or what have you. So that's it. Not bad. It transforms rather easy. I think it's 13 points, and again, I think it should be bigger. First thing we're going to do to transform him is open his windshield, open his cockpit, whatever you want to call it, and it and it accordions out, and that's good. And then we're going to turn the head back like so all right so far so good turn the hands around oh and that's one thing that you will notice is that these ball joints pop out so a little bit of nail polish will do the trick okay we're going to swivel the waist good now we're going to open up the wheels from the back and i'm going to show you something because i noticed this and there it is, hashtag B724. That sounds a little bit familiar, don't it? I don't know what relevance that is. Ah, whatever. Okay, so we accordion, or push the legs back, rotate them 90 degrees. Yeah, okay, turn that around, push the wheelbase, sorry, push the wheelbase up. And I do like this orange and silver. It works. Wheel base back up. Front snaps together. And there it is. Okay. And this is the tricky part. That's why I'm sighing just a tad bit. So we're going to go ahead and move this up. And see where that tab goes. That should tab in right there. And it should click in right there. And it is a little tricky. Yeah. Going to put this here. Hopefully, I don't mess things up. Okay, and that tabs in right there. Okay, not bad. Okay, that worked out not so bad. And I'm just going to plug in Hyperfire's little gun because that, that five mil port is nice. So it's not a bad. It looks clean. Not bad. And in there, the little Titans Returns, little Headmaster, whatever you want to call it, can sit. This is real tricky, so I'm going to try. Okay. All right. He's in the cockpit. And I'm going to close it. Ah, oh, it worked nice. There you go. The figure rolls well enough. But to me, he he should be... He should be deluxe class. It also comes with an instruction booklet. Fairly nice. It works. And the power stat card, and as you can see over here, got a strength of five, speed of eight, intelligence of six, and firepower at seven, which is odd because he doesn't have any weapons. There's a stat card. Again, very Japanese-like. I like that. 
rolls well enough. I mean, it, 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 I like the figure. I like the alt mode. Alt mode to me is the weaker of the two, but it's not bad. Yeah, you have a gaping little hole there. I just like the colors. It's vibrant. Yeah, 7 out of 10 for the alt mode, 8 out of 10 for the robot mode. Alright, YouTubers, that's all I got, and I'll catch you all next time.